All right. Welcome back to JFace Games. Today we are talking about the pressure system. That's the game we're designing here, the pressure system, and this is the first tutorial video of the pressure system to kind of explain the core resolution mechanic of the pressure system. So let's go just dive right into it. So we're going to say this is a zone, okay? We'll talk about zones in a later video, but in a zone, different people can be there. This is you, and these are two bad guys, right? You are in the same zone. Say you want to attack one of them. Say you want to do something. You want to use one of your special abilities. Well, what are you going to use? Well, attributes in the pressure system are different dice. Different dice are going to be assigned to your attribute. You could be a d4, d8, d6. Those are pretty much the standard ones. If you're really a badass, maybe you've got a d10. And if you're just on a mission from God, you've got a d12, right? So those are your core attributes. Let's say this person's core attribute for attacking is a d6. Well, then they ask the DM, they say, or the GM, they say, what's uh, what's the DC? What am I trying to beat with this D6? And the GM says, I don't know. And they say, what? How do you not know? Because the resolution system, what makes this the pressure system, is that there is a pressure die that the DM decides upon. Now, that dice is going to be determined by the type of monsters in there, the type of situation you're in. All sorts of things might determine the pressure die. But the DM might take this and say, boop. And now everything in that zone, every action you're taking in that zone is against the pressure die. What does against the pressure die mean? Well, if I'm now going to attack one of these guys, I have to pick up my D6, which is my attribute for attacking for this player. It could be a D8 for someone else, D4 for someone else. And I'm going to pick up the pressure die and I'm going to roll them together and hope that I win. Oh, I, got, I got smashed, right? Now, what if the pressure die is a D6? It can happen. There are ways to manipulate the pressure die in this game. You might be able to switch it. You might be able to get pluses to your die. You might get advantage. There's lots of ways to manipulate the game so that when you roll, oh, this guy's rolling terrible. So that when you roll, oh my God, three ones in a row. That shouldn't normally happen. There's actually a video I'll link right here that's on the statistics. What's the statistics you're hoping to get out of these die? Let's see if it's just me tonight. Oh my God, snake eyes, what's happening? So I've had players who the pressure die was their enemy and the pressure die was just they were smoking it. And like I said, there's lots of ways to manipulate the pressure die. You can have abilities that give you advantage and disadvantage. And once again, I'll show a link that I do advantage and disadvantage a little differently. So here's a video for that. Um, and we'll get into these eventually in these tutorials as well. But I've also seen a player, there was a player in the last tutorial game I played where he was up against a duelist monster. Now, what's a duelist monster? It was a monster who wants to duel people player didn't know that, but if you ever got alone with them, so say this was the scenario and it was a D6, this player then got alone with this monster, not knowing that it was a duelist monster. He had a friend in here too, so pretend there's a friend here. This friend left and this guy left, and now he's one-on-one, -on -one, and I took the pressure die and I turned it into a D12. And he was like, what? And so now this rogue was up against a D12 and he had a D6 defense dice. And he, and he was low on hit points, or low on stress in this game. And he survived three rounds against this guy, beating it with his D6 against the D12. And on top of that, he was also using ways to manipulate it. But for the most part, it was a straight roll. And the pressure die is that you're picking up these two dice. And it's like gambling almost. It's that kind of feel. You're picking up these two dice and you have no idea what's going to happen because you have no idea what you're trying to beat and what you're trying to get. And the ratcheted up tension about that, oh, it's marvelous. That's what we look for in a game. Oh, man, two off. Anyways. That is the base mechanic for the pressure system. We're going to go into some other mechanics about this game and what makes it the pressure system. We'll go through some tutorials on movement, on damage, on health, on some of the attributes, how you create a character, and then also the biggest part of this game, which is teamwork. This is a combat-driven mostly. Uh, there is a, I'm going to start building in more of the social play, but for the most part, ground up, it's a combat-driven game with a lot of emphasis on teamwork and how you can work together. 